What's up? You're so into to Dirty Bee Radio, and of course, I'm your host, Tina J. And it's the world's favorite, ah, shit, it's the world's favorite side, nigga, your man Lean Trippin'. <laughs> and we have our very special guest in the building. I'm gonna allow him to introduce himself. Yo, what's the deal? It's Rich Town Butters, suck that pussy guy, y'all know what the fuck going on. <laughs> no he is Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you? I'm good. What up, though? Good. It's so nice to finally have you here. So That's first, cool. I want to say, where you get the name Butter Town? All right. So when I was when I was uh, when I when I was born and my mama had me when I came out, I was pale as hell, and she said. I look like a little stick of butter when I was <laughs> ugly, so she named me butter. No cat. So that's where butter came from. Swear to God, no okay. cat. So that's like that's my real nickname. Yeah, I know. That's not just something I just call myself. So you grew up being called butter. Yeah, I used to hate my name. Why? People used to make jokes, butternut, butter bean, butter bread. <laughs> What's the what's the other butter jokes? <laughs> Butternut, buttercup. I used to call my own little cousin Curve and shit. Uh, they used to call him Butterball and shit. Yeah, Butterball. <laughs> yeah. Hey, That's the main one, Butterball. I yeah. didn't say what I was gonna say. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you're an artist, or tell us about yourself. So you're an artist, right? Yeah, and I'm a director. Video artist. Yeah. So what do you enjoy more, being an artist or the director? I don't know. I feel like it balances itself out. You're gonna like it. I feel like it balances itself out because like, like, I love music and I love videos. I, I want to let neither go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how old were you when you started music? Um, I know my mama, she... She went out of, she went to New York one summer. She left her camcorder home and I had like a little DJ mixer. And when she left, I used her, I took her camcorder and started recording myself. I was probably like eight. But I've been wanting to do music my whole life, so I don't really know what age. I was just really born into it. Cause I've always done the same stuff since I was a kid. So I did somebody inspire you while you were growing up to yeah. wanna do music? Yup, my uh, my cousin Smoothie Lou make music, and right now I was growing up, that's who the family supported, so I'm like, shit, I got the singers, and the artists in my family that rap and sing, so it's like, shit, I'm gonna support him like I support the other rappers that already made. Mm -hmm. So what, where you from? What's, what's that? What's, yeah. I'm from the East, but you know, when you got, I had two households, my mama house. In my daddy house. My daddy lived on um, Richton and Dexter on the west side, West Davidson. And my mama lived on East Six Mile in Mount Road, which is East Davidson. So. So you playing? Are you playing like? Yeah, I playing six. both. I claim Six Mile. I claim Six Mile more than anything though, cause that's my hood. But I claim Dexter, cause I can't forget where my daddy came from. Feel me? So I claim that too. Not as much though. The niggas know. I let people know. Now, these niggas over there that can vouch for me. Do you remember like the first time you recorded a song of yours? And you was yeah. like, I like this. I'm about to keep doing this. Like, I'm yeah. mother. Yeah, like before, <laughs> before I went to a real studio, my mama bought a computer in like 2010, 2011. Our first computer, and I it was this software called Mistcraft. When I downloaded it, I didn't have a mic either. I had a, uh, I had a webcam, but you know the webcam got a mic in it. So it picked up the audio from the webcam. And I used to make songs on there, like auto tune, all type of shit, like beats. And then uh, once I wanted to take it more serious, I went to a real studio and it was in the Islam Projects. This nigga named uh, ED, he was he an engineer. He shoot videos too. Uh, Dr. P.E.D. Um, I recorded my first song with him for real, for real. Then I found somebody closer to my hood, which was H. Matic. He was supposed to be here today. <laughs> Shout out to H. <laughs> Shout out to H. So, like, you recorded with H. I seen your name 
um, on the wall for those who don't know what age is, he's another producer. He also follows on Very uh, Radio as well. Um, so, what keeps you so focused? I know you're young. So, what keeps you focused? Um, my son, my son, the the niggas around me, cause everybody around me working, everybody around me like not just sitting on their ass, like everybody I be around, they doing something with themselves. So it's like, even when I when I lose focus, I don't. Even when I lose focus, it's still able. I'm able to get back on track quick, cause everybody around me working. So it's like, if I'm not working, it's just gonna feel weird as hell. Alright, so, you know what I'm saying, I know you're doing a lot, you know what I'm saying, and you can tell you're focused by everything you're doing, so, do you make time, you got kids, right? Yeah, you got one, you got a son? Yeah. Alright, so, how do you balance that time up, you know what I'm saying, to make time for your kid and also do music, also direct, also, you know what I'm saying, do be parties, be on the road. Parties. I do a little graphic designer too. Oh, yeah. I do a little bit of everything. I um, don't really like, I don't know, I really make time for really what I want. Like, mm -hmm. I work for myself, so it's like shit. Yeah, I could tell a nigga, really I work around my time and other people's time, so I just make shit happen when I want it to happen. Alright, that's fine. So, um, you know, it's Freaky Friday. So, I got a couple questions. The groupies. Now, I, I think, I'm not a part of your close friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> I did hear like, a close friend be kind of lit. <laughs> yeah, my shit lit. So, I used to be a young and tight, right? Mm -hmm. You on your shit does that attract a lot of females, a lot of women. Yeah. But how do you know if they're serious or not? Like, the or you just having fun around? To be honest, though, like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm having fun, but I'm not having the fun that I used to have. Like, I got older now, so it's not my goal to just be fucking everybody, fucking everything. It's really not my, it's really not my plans to just be hitting the most bitches no more. Or, feel me? Do you think that some of these girls just want to be around because of like who you are, who you're becoming, the people you surround yourself with? Yeah, but it's like, ain't nothing, oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't want you loyal to me. Like, Cause shit, that's... What's that's your what definition of loyal? To be honest, I believe everybody cheat though. You know what I'm But shit, if you don't, that's a blessing. Shit, really. Really shit just you gotta move how I move. Cause if we if you move how I move, then I can fuck with you. But when you if you moving different, when you come with me, you gotta move different. Mm -hmm. But I can't fuck with you. That's real. Cause I got a lot of shit on the line. So. I think I told somebody earlier today, I said when you when you walk different, you move different. You move different you got a lot of shit to lose. You know yeah. what I think you out here playing crazy. Knowing mm -hmm. that you can lose anything at any given moment, you gotta think more wisely as you get older and you move differently. Especially if I, if I really like you, you really gotta move like me, like for real, for you. I don't want my girl really like hanging out. Like, if she had run a type of crowd of bitches who just love pulling up, fight, because my generation young, I don't know if I'm gonna have a bitch my age or around my age or older, you feel me? But the young females, they crazy as fuck. Like, <laughs> They pulling up on bitches like just to fight. Y'all want everybody else fighting. You feel me? If you my bitch, I'ma have your back for sure. But you gotta look out for this little slick shit like this. If a nigga can't get to me, he gonna try to get to somebody close to me. Like my girl. Like, you gotta be prepared. You gotta watch out for all that. You feel me? Nigga might send his bitch at my bitch. You feel me? Trying to get off or just to say, yeah, we finna be for butter. So by you being young and moving differently. Have those type of problems with like beef and all that, or like when you move? Um, yeah, like you know, I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't gonna say I got, I ain't got no beef out here though, but like I'm not beefing with nobody. Okay. 
I'm not into it. Cool, good. <laughs> it's you feel it's always gonna be niggas you had problems with in the past. It's always gonna be people you don't like, niggas who don't like you. But for me not to like a nigga, you gotta do something I don't like. Mm -hmm. I fucks with everybody. That's the thing, like I pick peace before anything type shit. But you feel me? I will take it there if I got to. That's real. Now I watch you on Instagram we're following each other. Um, What's up? The love that you have for your son is like so amazing. Like, like that's your everything. Like you can tell he is so handsome. By the way, um, no. Like, right before Dex came out, like I already knew about Dex stars and shit. So when Dex came out, I was rapping that shit. I'm like, oh shit, we got somebody from Dexter. <laughs> you feel me? That's that got a name. Like they going dumb. You feel me? That's when I learned Cash Dolls from there. You feel me? Hey, Wando. Yeah. And, so. and they rap to the fullest. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. that start uh, ski. Yeah. So, Rich Town Magazine. You hear that on so many songs. <laughs> like, where did that? How did you? How did that come about? All right. So, like, um. Shit, my intro, I basically said, like, this was my goal, to be honest. I'm like, I don't care if a million people don't see my face first. As long as they see my logo. Mm -hmm. As long as they see that logo, that RM with the crown on that bitch, that's good. That's the brand. I came with Rich Time Magazine because, like, first it was just Rich Time. I was rapping. I was rapping real hard first. I got into that, like, that was really first. And um, I do like videos on my webcam, videos on my mama JVC camcorder, um, shit, even on the Android, the Samsung, bitch. And now I load it up into the computer and play with that. But I was doing music. What, what the fuck? What, the, what was the question? <laughs> it was, uh, how did you, how did Rich Time Magazine come about? Oh yeah, so, so first it was just Rich Time because, you know, it was, it was just strictly music. And I was always gonna shoot my own videos, really, type shit. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that I could have a film production. Like, I'm just young. My mind was growing as I got deeper into this shit. But first, it was just rich time to grow. Then my mama bought my first camera, mm -hmm. and my my YouTube name went from Rich Time Butter to Rich Time Films. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, so it's like. Basically, some shit happened where police, police start uh, start putting their eye on niggas. So I just wanted to not make us look like a gang. Yeah. So I wanted to look more like a company. So I changed it to Rich Time Magazine. I changed my YouTube name to Rich Time Magazine, and I made my logo on Photoshop. I made that bitch myself. That's dope. So it's like the RM stuff for Rich Time Magazine is gonna stand for Rich Time Management, and then like remember me. That's, that was my uh, my little interview thing, gonna be called Remember Me. But it was still gonna have an RM yeah, under us, Remember Me. So you wanna be a manager too? Yeah, like, I, man, I, manage, I, manage, I manage camera guys, I manage artists. Mm -hmm. Shit, feel me? Before I signed with IUR, I was managing myself. Okay. Um, you got music for up? So, is there any artists that you want to work with? Or any producers? Hell yeah. I want to work with, uh, with a producer I fuck with now, Faded Beats, DK Go Crazy. Uh, he was time. First time he played, he our producer. Yeah. He an artist, a little key though. He just not right now, though. But, um, fuck with DK. Fat Mike. When I go to Fat Mike, I, that's when I be in my, like, my real gang gang bag. Like, <laughs> my real slide music, my slide talk. I go to Fat Mike. And, uh, uh, my nigga The Amazing. Feel me? Uh, DODBH. DODBH? Yeah. <laughs> we, did, we did some quite regular. I got some shit. I want to do some shit with Ambeats. I want to work with Hollywood. I want to work with motherfucking. 
one ain't honey. It's a lot of niggas, bro. I want to work for everybody. That's everybody true. got their own source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, um, rich town. So, um, you mentioned you were signed with IUI. How, first of all, how did you meet this? I swear, Vessel. How did you meet him? I couldn't. You always with me. What happened? Where's we at? I think it I know it was, I was with Jetta though for sure. Uh was it at the collector? We yeah, yeah. We met Vegas and at collectors with Jet. Jet introduced us to Vegas. Yo, yeah, Jetta introduced us to Vegas. You know, Vegas was Vegas is telling me I am the late and shit. Mm -hmm. You wanna you wanna sign? So when you when you was like sad. Would you like, hold on, like, what you mean, yeah, sad? Like, 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 wait, 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 yeah, what? I, yeah, like, I'm all like, he like, I want to sign you as an artist. I'm like, bitch, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, fuck. He like, I'm lit. He fuck my music. Who was the first person that you told? I remember that moment on social media for you. And everybody's like, congratulations, congratulations. Like, who was the first person you called and told, like, yeah, man, so why you want to sign me? Like, what? Man, I'll be some motherfucking blow. I don't even know, but like, I think I played on some. Long as Louie and Shay knew, I'm like, yeah, it's on the flow. Like, and I was playing it low key, though. Like, when Biz was supposed to be, that shit went crazy. Like, How did we, that make you feel? Like, I felt good as hell, but like, <laughs> the shit was, like, I always wanted to. Sign to somebody like, but I ain't know who's gonna sign me. Like, who gonna send me as a rapper? Cause that's what I've been doing. And Fizz came, and that nigga made me turn up. Okay, he gave me heavy motivation. He is that type of person. Hell yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah. Um, Fizz is definitely that type of person. Um, now you said as long as Louie and Shay, who are who are they to you? Louis is my big brother, my blood big brother. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Same on me, feel me? Um, Shay, it's my little cousin. But that's really more like your brother, too. Thanks. Right. So, where did the thing is? Now, first, I ain't gonna lie, shout out to Chicken Man, right? Yeah. I seen Chicken Man doing the dance, right? The one thing is, like the floor dance. What do y'all call it? <laughs> we call it plumbing. <laughs> hey, that's classic. The plummy dance, right? I always see Shane hanging, right? Yeah. So, like, where did that dance for me take it from? Alright, so, like, to be honest, though, I seen Chicken Man hitting that shit, you feel me? I ain't be getting off with that shit. Shout out to Chicken Man. I seen Rio hit that bitch, you feel me? No cap. Shout out to Gang, you feel me? But. I, it's really, I ain't gonna, it's really my dance though type shit. Like, I shot this video probably like two years ago, one year ago. Y'all gonna look it up on YouTube. It's called Rich Time Butter Sucking Through the Dick. What? Four GTMT. Those, those the guys who made the hand dog song. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them boys. You feel me? But in the video, it's like me and Rio sucking through the dick. Like, what the fuck? 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 I ain't even got on that for I was just hitting that shit. And my nigga Spade was just hyping me up with that shit like bounce his hands like so like the flow like his hands like was with the rhythm. And when I look at him like yeah this shit hype, I feel it. cause I edit the video. I put that part in there like yeah that part lit. And then Cuddy started doing that shit. You feel me? Chicken Man started doing it. But it's like I don't I don't say Chicken Man stole it or nothing cause like you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I haven't he seen probably it. Didn't, he, I he think probably didn't see the video, you feel me? He yeah, probably I think I might have texted you like, I see Sonny Baby doing your dance. <laughs> you feel me? Like, oh yeah, Sonny hit that shit too. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? And, and you feel me? Like, Sonny, he be showing love though, no cap. Like, that's gang though. You feel me? Like, when you see Shay, like, bitch, I just hit your shit. <laughs> you feel me? No cap. So, I know that you work with a lot, a lot of artists. 
um, shooting their videos. But who have you worked with as far as like features, um, videos, things like that? Um, as far as features, I don't really got no, no big features right now, though. But I got game, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody I do a feature with women. You feel me? Like Louis, Shay, Chucky, motherfucking. Um, I got some with the Rogue Gang Twins. I got some with Rogue Gang Davion. I'm gonna have some with uh, Bad Boy Melstone. Um, me and Ice gonna do some shit, you know. But like, really, I just got songs with all my niggas. Mm -hmm. So you really been working yeah. and getting books. So, so now you in your artist bag, your videography, and now you're getting books. So like, how is that? Is that affecting your personal life? Um, cause everybody want a video. Yeah, but to be honest though. Everything I said I was gonna do, I did it. Like, I really planned this. I had the same plan since I was a kid, like forever. Like this shit never changed. But everything I said I was gonna do, I did it. So, you know, as far as like shooting videos, I'm gonna keep shooting videos. I love shooting videos. Everything come with a headache. I ain't gonna care. <laughs> See me? This shit ain't easy though. But I'm doing this shit. You make it look easy. I say that off air. I said I told you you have like a million dollar mind. So I see you going so further. Just don't forget about me. I I said I'm shit. The shit. The shit. I'm on. You feel me? It's a lot of niggas on type shit I'm on, but I'm on so much shit. Like, there's so much I can do. There's so many goals I gotta accomplish. You feel me? Like, I'm just not what I'm limited to. Like, mm -hmm. I got so much shit on the floor. Like, I'm hitting shit from all angles, no cap, all angles. Like it's deeper than music, it's deeper than the camera. Mm -hmm. like, I want to be a business man overall. You feel me? And I can see that. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, I want to manage other artists too. That, now that ain't it. <laughs> it, Give it's me a book. It's not, it's not a dope book. I did it. Yeah. I did it like, like so when I used to have when I used to have my own studio, I would record their songs. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I could get them some beats that's not on YouTube. Shoot the video. I do the graphic design. Only thing I really didn't do was like distribute it to um, my tone core or whatever. I ain't do that or I ain't, uh, I ain't really. You feel me? Do no pep work, but I was just young, just doing what I wanted to do. So managing artists fun, cause like you can help somebody else's dreams come to come true. Like I done built through so much shit with the music. Like when I approach other artists, I can already relate to what they've been through if they ain't been through it already. Or I can tell them what they can go through or what to look forward to, cause I done been through all the fuck shit. Uh, all the fuck shit. When you just said managing is fun, edit that look I gave him, I was like, <laughs> no, I gonna lie, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's like, <laughs> let's I couldn't sit here and I got like, to and see how it is. It's hard. Yeah. You feel me? But I ain't nothing gonna come easy. But I'll do it. Only thing that really give me a problem is time. Like, Not enough time in the day. You feel me? Real shit. So I be flying so fast. I be having so much shit to do. Like from, from videos to music to managing to your personal life. You feel me? I'm doing all that shit. That's real. That's real. Do people be um, <laughs> getting on your nerves like, where my video at? You say I was gonna drop X amount of X this day. Mm -hmm. it, it's a week later, where my shit at? Like you have to be putting people in their place like, wait a minute, like what you mean? It's coming. Give me a second. No, like, on some real shit, though, like, I, I just sometimes, like, had to cut into, like, certain people. Not even no tough shit, because, like, you feel me? Sometimes they'll be on my ass because I hold that video too long. I don't care. Okay. Sometimes it'd be me, or sometimes some of you just really overdo it, though. But, like, I still treat it like a business. I don't really argue with niggas. 
You feel me? I just keep it neutral. Professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause like customers are always right type shit. That's how I look at it. Great business mind. You feel me? Or they just they don't know what you got going on. So I can't I really be on some kind of shit though. It's irritating as fuck though. <laughs> you feel me? I just treat it like a business. I ain't cussing niggas out, I'm running niggas away. You feel me? But I ain't for sure not letting that nigga talk to me spicy though. Alright, we know you do uh, videos and everything. You ever thought about doing movies? Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna do my shit like this shit though. Hey, I got a question that Sheena probably ain't think about ask, asking you, bro. Like, how did it feel or how did it go about uh, the BT situation? Because I had saw that shit wouldn't happen. Oh, uh, I was on my nigga Tom Tom. Shout out Tom Tom. He got, uh, Uncle Baby dropping 313, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Uh, I went with him. We got his video up on YouTube. It's called My Ways. And my shit went up there. That bitch said directly by Rich Time Magazine. I was out of time. I didn't get a chance to see it on TV. But somebody took a picture of it and sent it to me. How did that make you feel? To be on beat black entertainment television. A young guy from the hood trying to make a way. Um, started with the webcam and now a video that you directed is on BET. Shit, that shit felt good. I'm like, shit, that's it. I really humble though, like I throw it out there though, but I be on some humble shit though, like I just like yeah, it's on my resume, so when people like this nigga ain't did shit, y'all really just don't know, like y'all see shit, but I don't put a lot of shit out there. I just know it's gonna speak for itself in the future, like this shit meant for me, like this shit gonna happen regardless. Once I learn patience, though, like can't nobody, this guy plan, you can't stop it. Like I know, I got like. I believe in my man dream, like, no cap, like, music for sure. And the videos, like, I don't know, it just come together. That's something I always do. This shit gonna pop regardless, so I can't even, you feel me? Mm -hmm. This shit gonna pop both ways. Like, I'm gonna have this shit in the bag. I'm gonna speak this shit into existence, like, for real. As you should. Yeah. Like, not only I'm gonna be doing big features, but shit, what if I shoot somebody that's in the and the lead at NBA Young Boy or Lil Pump. I shoot one of them niggas for y'all. Or somebody just in that lead with them, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That's a that's a plus right there. It's kind that's of some else good. Alright, shit. Fuck a feature. Yeah, that bitch say directed by Rich Town Magazine, man. Rich Town Magazine! <laughs> you feel me? Sometimes it's not just me. Like, I got my nigga Drew, 3DMG, like, he be helping me edit, you feel me? He helped me shoot. You feel me? That nigga fire. Yeah, shout out to you. Yeah. Shout that's out. big three. Like that nigga, that nigga a goat. Like, like he moved just like me. Like he got his own movement. He got artists he managed. You feel me? He made sure they got studio time, they got videos, graphic designer, all that. So shout out to him. He moved. He moved just like me, bro. He can. Alright. And we know you say oh you wanna manage artists and shit, right? But do you manage you manage anybody right now? Yeah. Alright. So what if it's what if it's like an up and coming artist, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to get your attention, like like do do the bars stick out, the beats, the fit, you know what I'm saying? What'll make you be like, yeah, I wanna fuck with this person? To be honest though, like I mean I'll fuck with people but like, not right now type shit. Like I already got who I fuck with, so I wanna I want them to be the example, like, this is what I do for the artists I manage. You feel me? Like, I ain't, I, I'm finna hop back in that field. You feel me? So it's like, uh, I'm just had that on my resume. I'm finna redeal with that bitch. You feel me? So I can have some to show. Yeah. Do you think that it's hard or complicated um, to be a manager and an artist? Because some people may say, like, if you're a manager, how could you manage your artist and now you're trying to push your music? And what about your artist's music? Um, 
Like, I don't mind pushing that music because I feel like, shit, I mean, I could push mine too, but shit, like, I really feel like me shooting that video and slapping it on my channel, that's a promotion right there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I'm for sure share it on my page and the rest of my magazine page because I want them to win just like I want myself to win. But like, far as time, they know that I'm working, so, you know what I'm saying? And I, once I get to a certain spot, I'm gonna bring them along with me. But right now, I'm working on me. So once I get there, I'm gonna bring them along. That's right. But the least I can do right now is keep them with videos, make sure they're in the stool, and have them some beats. So you know, if I can't do the graphic design, I got other people who can do the artwork for me. Mm -hmm. So, hey. Cause shit, what if one of them blow before me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good for all of us. Yeah. So, Whole team out. Hell yeah. So I'm really like room for everybody. Even the niggas that's like not with me, like under my shit, like I room for everybody shit. I hope everybody win. I ain't gonna nobody. Have you ever had to shoot somebody and they mute their song just garbage and you thought like, man, damn I don't wanna shoot this video with they pen good. Mm -hmm. You gotta put it all on you. You gotta promote it. You got a rich cow magazine. Here they come with this shitty ass song. Oh, damn, <laughs> I put this on my <laughs> man, like I don't know, like I be on some shit, like I don't know, like if it really sounds trash, I don't know, say shit. <laughs> it's they shit. Huh? It's that shit. Like it's not my job to judge the music. Yeah. Or talk down on that shit. You feel me? Yeah. But like what I do is. I end up finding something good about the song, at least, no okay. cap. And just editing that shit, I end up knowing that song by then I'm editing. By the time I'm done editing. How many people you thought you think you've directed thus far? <clears throat> A lot. Probably like 600 videos. That's dope. Yeah, working. Probably even more than that. That's just the lowest off the bat. So are you working on anything? Like what can we expect from you? Mm -hmm. My Rich Time Ghetto Baby project. Rich Time Ghetto Babies. Me, Shay, and Louie. And then I'm gonna have Buttermaid next. Then I'm gonna have my, uh, my gang gang too. So three. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss the working on. Yeah. And that's all, is that dropping this year? Uh, yeah. I probably have to drop on this this year. I don't know. I'm just working hard. Like, I'm finna be so consistent. I like, just gonna be my first take. So. I see the hard work. I'm pretty sure your supporters see your hard work. I see everyone reposting you. I'm hearing your tags everywhere. Your work speaks for itself. It's good quality work. You're young. You have the mindset of a whole businessman. Like, I'm sitting here like, okay, brother. <laughs> <laughs> feels, feels. For sure, for sure. All right. Is there any uh, celebrities you feel like, like, damn, I wanna, I wanna do a song, or I wanna shoot a video for this particular person? Hell yeah. Like, I ain't been on big hit of shit, and just not industry niggas, but it's still people I wanna work with, like, like. Really, everybody, but you know, I want to work with GT. I want to work with, like, I want to work with Sada Samala. I want to work with a lot of people. Everybody. <coughs> Even the youth. I, I really want to work with the youth. I don't care if you're 14, like, I want you to call me, like, feel me? That's dope. So, is it like only music videos or? If somebody call you like, yeah, I want you to shoot my, my daughter cheer team. No, nah, but like, I probably wouldn't do nothing like that. But like, I got shooters so who will take on in that field. That way we ain't missing out on no money. That's dope. Like parties, weddings, you know. I know who to call. They already on the team. 
They're ready for whatever. Okay. So, so if somebody wanted a feature from you, is it a set price? Yeah, yeah. They can just tap in with me. <laughs> you can't really tap in with me. You really gotta tap in with my management. Oh yeah, you gotta tap in. Nah, who am I? Sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um. I got, I got, I got a club manager. So. <laughs> I so got. So like, what does each manager do for you? Whatever they can, no <laughs> cap. Like, it don't matter what it is. They, they, they just, they doing it. Chanel, you feel me? That's another, that's another manager. Shout out to her, I adore her. There's one step to shit go. And my manager for him, this time for him. You feel me on Instagram? You know, he got me performance, he keep me moving. You feel me? So you got a team of people that believe in you. Yep. That's solid. Give me your top five artists in the city that you like. Top five. Not including me. <laughs> I'm gonna say Viz, Cash Kid, Louie, first time Louie. Uh, that's great. Mm-hmm. You can say it. For sure, me. <laughs> Okay, that's that's anyways. Damn, Shay, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap like, bro. I feel like my whole thing with no cap. I ain't gonna lie, y'all are. Like <laughs> Chucky, like I love Chucky shit. I love my nigga Drew shit. You feel me? Drew and his gang, they be talking spicy. You feel me? Bad boy Mill, the real gang twins, they be talking spicy. Like, man, no cap. Yeah, we're gonna have to play some of that music, man. Uh, I got one of his songs. I don't know what it's called. When you do your MP3, you got with the title on there. That mm -hmm. one, I love that song. Uh, when you come up, boss, I ain't already heard it. It's not. I need to perform that shit. I know. I want to see a video to that. I really like that song. Um, I just made music like depending on. Move. Like, I don't even be right, I just go in that bitch and talk what I feel. So you just go and you spit off the dog. It's no, yeah. no pen and paper. Yeah, like, I, like I'll like i just run straight through that bitch. Sometimes I can, sometimes I go like fucking 12 hours straight, but I be walking shit down. Who's like your favorite um, producer to work with? That you die with, you know, everybody got that producer to be like, Man, I know he's about to, I gotta tell him, no, I need, I'm about to go in here, I'm about to do it. Man, BK, Rich Town BK, no cap, Rich Town BK. Like, that's my producer. That's a gang. That's dope. Like, and then it's Fat Mike, and then Fatty Beats. Like, they for sure know, they know me, like, they know what I want. They put me in my bag with music, so. You are you working on um you got any events coming up? Still my twenty first birthday for sure. When is that? June nineteenth. My birthday June eighteenth. Big party. Yeah, I'm probably throw a big ass party. So so you're doing all of this and you're only twenty years old. Yeah, like I did like before to be honest, like I wasn't always making money off the music video. When I was younger, I always kept money. Like, like no cap. Like, you feel me? I had to do no hot shit. I had to ride nobody. I had to do that shit. Like, you would thought I was, I was like Silver Spoon release. Well, just, just. She loved her music. That's dope. She know her son's lit. That's, she know. She bought my first camera, so. She knew it. Yeah. She, she bought my first camera. camera. She bought my first camera. And she, because she got she it. She changed my life forever with that. She got it on her song, going to be a millionaire. We're going to speak that into the universe. Thanks. So it's like, she, she put me in the house. Now it's my turn to put her in the house. No, that's right. It's so happy. I'm gonna be sitting. No, actually, I'm gonna sit back. I'll be right by y'all side. Like, hey, ma. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm the type I'm the type nigga that get a mansion, right? Buy a mansion, you feel me? My family standing in that bitch. Like it's not it's just gonna be me. It's some little bitches, you feel me? <laughs> My family in there, so it's like boom. That's real. Fuck around to have a reality show in that bitch. Cause like we we really to be honest the shit that's not on camera be the silliest shit like like how we do our videos that's how we is in real life when it's time to get serious we serious bro. I know for sure I be on the road show I got your camera on the road shout out to Shay and he keep the whole sprinter rolling no like okay. <laughs> it okay. be so fucking funny Shay lit like Shay a star no okay. cap <laughs> so we we so lit like. Only how you sleeping on us if you don't want us to win. Period. And everybody everybody know me, you feel me? Like my popularity is way bigger than the views I give for sure. You know? Shout out to El Boogie like 100, 100. Well, I can say I love a good interview with B Sayer kicking it. Time is not on our side. But thank you so much, bro, for coming. Kicking in with us already, ready. We look so forward to what you have in store. Uh, keep up that grind, keep up that motivation, and keep doing what you're doing. Oh yeah, and I gotta get a couple shout outs. Okay. Shout out to Dirty D Radio, you, you feel me? Shout out to Viz, IUR, and all again. Shout out to Rich Town, Free Jetta, Free Peasy. For my big brother, he just got indicted because a nigga tall, fuck nigga, you feel me, so, free everybody. <laughs>